Okay, we're looking at an Invicta 9937. This is a very special Invicta model watch in that it has a high quality Swiss movement in it. It also has solid end links on the bracelet, nice heavy duty bracelet. It does use push pins to size that bracelet, which I'm not a big fan of, but they work okay. Now one thing I will caution you on on these watches is Invicta is known for having quality control issues. So buy the watch from a trusted merchant like Amazon that you can return it to easily. Make sure that they have a liberal return policy in case you get a bad unit. I was lucky I got one that keeps excellent time, about a second a day, which for an automatic wind watch like this, Swiss movement like this, is very good just as good as my Rolex. So buy it from somewhere that you can return it if you get a bad copy, that you can wear it for a couple of weeks and make sure that everything is working the way it should and if necessary, return it. So that said, assuming you get a good unit, which I did, mine's a couple years old now, they are a fantastic watch. The case is really the same shape as the original Submariners, Rolex Submariners, it looks from the side, from the top, it looks very much like a Rolex. Many people are going to think it's going to a Rolex. And the thing about that is Rolex had a great design. So the fact that these other watchmakers can use some of these designs because the patents have run out is a good thing. I mean, they can design a watch that functions and is gorgeous and is comfortable on wrist. This watch is extremely comfortable on wrist. I've been wearing a titanium Seiko that's even more comfortable, my 007, and just search my channel for Seiko uh, 007 and, and you'll find that watch. That's just a fantastic watch. Uh, very comfortable on wrist. But this is a close second. And this watch keeps better time than the Seiko. And the Seiko is about $1,000. These are up to around $350 now on Amazon. They were around $300. Some places they were a little less than $300. I noticed today I checked there. Th this 9937 is up to around $350. So it's getting a little pricey. You can get, for a little more, you can get a Steinhardt. Um, it's not going to look quite as much like a Rolex as this one, though, in my opinion. And this is this is a good, solid watch. So let me know. What are you wearing? What kind of sport watch and why? And please subscribe. Thanks for watching.